All right, so the next one is the following. Consider a Ricardian model of trade. Suppose Spain can produce at most 500 cars or 50 trucks with its 5,000 units of labor. Portugal can produce at most 60 trucks with its 600 units of labor. If Portugal exports cars, what is the most detailed thing you can say about the unit labor requirement of cars in Portugal? So what do we know? Well, we know that Portugal is going to export cars. So the all turkey price of cars has got to be cheaper in Portugal than it is in Spain. So what's the all turkey price in Spain? So Spain says they can produce at most 500 cars or 50 trucks. So go over and make yourself a PPF. So 50 trucks or 500 cars. So what's the all turkey price going to be? Rise over run, 50 over 500, or it's going to be uh, one tenth. That is the relative price of a car in all turkey for Spain. What do we know? Well, okay, the, if the, Spain's going to import cars, one tenth has got to be lower than the price in Portugal's all turkey. I'm sorry, higher than the price. So we come now to Portugal. What information are we given? S Portugal can produce at most 60 trucks. 60 trucks. And what we're saying is that their slope of their line has to be less than one-tenth. Okay? So what else do we know? That 60 trucks is produced, they have 600 units of labor. Divide that by 10. So the unit labor requirement for a truck is 10. Now, what do we need? We need the price here to be less than one-tenth. So, one-tenth has got to be greater than the all turkey price of a car. Well, we don't know what the unit labor requirement for a car is, but we know that the unit labor requirement is 10. And so, multiply each side by 10, what does that tell us? One is greater than the unit labor requirement for a car in Portugal. And that's the most we can really say. So, you know, what were the other options there? That it's less than one half? We don't know if it's less than one half, we just know if it's less than one. It's greater than 10? No, it's gotta be less than one. It is less than 50, that's true, but we can actually be more precise. It's less than 10, not enough information. Nope, we can't, yeah, that one didn't work. Now, another way to do it is to say, okay, you know, again, ALC over 10 has got to be less than one-tenth. You know, another way of saying that, again, is just that's got to be less than the ratio of the unit labor requirements for Spain up here. So if they have 5,000 units of labor, they can make 50 trucks. Well, that's 5,000 over, what is that, 100? That's the unit labor requirement for trucks there. 500 out of your 5,000. Again, that's where the unit labor requirement there would be 10. So you could say 10 over 100 has got to be greater than ALC over 10. Works out the same thing. 100 over 100 is 1. So that's how that one works.